Alright, today on this boat trailer, we're going to install part number DM5402, the Demco Hydraulic Brake Line Kit for single axle trailers. A couple things to know about this trailer before we start off is that the axle's already been replaced with a new axle, so we need to add our brake line kit to this. So to, our first step is to go ahead and remove the original brake line that's inside the frame. Cut off one end from the master cylinder and go ahead and help pull it out. Okay, once we have our old line removed, we can go ahead and install our new line that goes up to the coupler. This will be the long line that comes in the kit. First off, we'll go ahead and wrap the, end, the one end up with tape to help protect it as we push it through the frame. Now we'll go ahead and unravel it slowly as we push it through the frame until it reaches the end. Now in this case, we found out that the, this length of line is too short. To help extend it, we're going to use part number T1061900 from Titan. This is a 30 inch length of brake tubing. To connect our first line, we're also going to use a hydraulic brake union, part number T1287900. We'll go ahead and thread these parts together and then tighten them down. Then we'll continue on pushing the line into the frame. Okay, once we reach the end of our brake line, we'll go ahead and manipulate it and bend it to where it fits the original fitting that's on the end of the frame. And basically just going to gently bend and move around as needed until we get to the right S shape where it goes into the frame, it doesn't rub on the side of the hole, but also goes through our bracket that's pre-existing on our frame. But we'll go ahead and install a flexible line. Now our flexible line will fit into the bracket that's already welded into the frame. So we'll go ahead and push it into place, and then install a clip that'll hold it. Now sometimes it might be helpful to go ahead and run two lines together first. Now our other end of our flexible line, we'll get the T-fitting. We'll go ahead and thread that onto place. At this point, we'll go ahead and tighten down the T-fitting to our flexible line. Then you want to take note of how the T-fitting is going to sit on the axle. Now we'll go ahead and go from our T-fitting over to the closest wheel. We'll take our line and thread it into the wheel cylinder. And then we'll go ahead and thread it into our T-fitting. We'll go ahead and just get them started but not tightened down. because We'll still need to have everything loose and flexible as we install the second line. We'll go ahead and run over to our T-fitting and then run over to the wheel cylinder on the other side. Now you want to uncoil this wire and be as straight as possible to get the maximum length out of it. And then we'll go ahead and loosely thread it into the wheel cylinder. Once we have all our fittings loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down for good. Now, then we'll go ahead and take a look at our T-fitting. Now it has a bracket built into it that we can use to attach to the axle. Now it's time to make any adjustments on the lines. Then we'll go ahead and attach our T-fitting to the axle. In this case, all we're going to use is a number 14 self-tapping screw to attach it to our axle. You also want to double check to make sure that the lines that go towards the wheels aren't on top of the U-bolts, because sometimes the top of the U-bolts can hit the bottom of the frame. You don't want the brake lines pushed in between the two. Once our connections are done underneath the axle, we'll go back up to our master cylinder and make our final connection. We'll go ahead and take up our excess line and coil it up underneath the coupler and then thread it into the master cylinder. We'll go ahead and tighten it down. And at this point, we can go ahead and fill the master cylinder up with fluid and bleed the brakes. When we bleed the brakes, it's a good idea to have an extra set of hands help push the cylinder in, while another set of hands opens up the valves behind the wheel cylinders. To help contain the old brake fluid, we'll use a rubber line. We'll flip the rubber line over the valve and then the other end will go into an old jar to collect the old fluid. And bleeding any brake, it's pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and push in on the cylinder up front, and then we'll open up the valve in the back. We'll go ahead and make sure that the fluid pushes out all the air. When there's no more bubbles left, we're finished. We're done for closest fitting to the master cylinder. Now we'll go to the other side and repeat the same process. Once everything is bled out, it's a good idea to check for leaks one more time, and then we're finished. It's a good idea to take it on a short test drive, and go ahead and top off the reservoir. And with that, that'll finish it for our install, part number DM5402 on this boat trailer.